Now today, I'm gonna to be making Christmas Hasselback potatoes. Now, if you've never had these before, give them a go. I've already done a recipe for Hasselback potatoes, so you can always check those out. Now this one, they're gonna be a bit more special because we're gonna add some extra ingredients like we've got cheese and we've got bacon and they're just gonna be really scrummy. So whether it's a Christmas or any other time you want something really tasty, give these a go. So for making these Christmas Hasselback potatoes, I've got all the ingredients laid out. Here's a list of all the ingredients I use, but obviously you can mix and match and change things as you want. So I'm gonna go on with the potatoes. Now I've actually got a couple of chopsticks there you could alternatively use like wooden spoons. The reason I've got those is because you can put your potato there and then you get your knife and as you chop down, when you get down to the chopsticks or the wooden spoon, it stops you cutting all the way through. So it's quite important to have those. Now what I'm gonna do is just grab the potato and just kind of cut down. Don't go right to the very bottom, obviously. That's the idea of having the uh, the chopsticks there, it stops that. I would say you want to cut so that you've got thicknesses of the potato about an eighth of an inch, so it's about three millimeters, maybe slightly less if you can. More the merrier, really. Happy Christmas. So I'll just carry on doing that until I've sliced this potato all the way along. And then what I'll do is I'll do the same with the rest of the potatoes. Now I've done my potatoes and just to show you, look at that, all nicely cut, not the way through. It's just really, and you know, down to about the chopstick size. Now if you're a little bit unsure about doing that or you accidentally cut through one of the potatoes, then use wooden spoons, which are slightly thicker. But I want these to go quite low with the cut so that they fan out a little bit more. But you know, do it with a wooden spoon, chopstick, entirely up to you. Now what I'm gonna do is put those in the bowl, put some olive oil, a bit of salt, get them seasoned up, and then we can put them in the oven, get them cooking. And we're gonna sprinkle the salt over there. Because potatoes definitely need a bit of salt, bring out the flavors. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of mix them up, get everything nicely coated. I mean, obviously be a little bit gentle with them, because they, you know, they could break, but I think this is fine. Look at that, all done. So there's the potatoes, and we've got olive oil and salt all on the outside. There's a little bit of an error there, because I did cut one slice off the end, actually two of them, but there you go, all done, ready to go. Now next of all, I've just got me butter. I've got about half a block of butter, or a little bit less, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some mixed herbs. I mean, the ones I normally use, Herbs de Provence, which are really, really good, but these ones are mixed herbs, so they're good as well. I'd probably say you want about a teaspoon, and I've also got some garlic granules, probably about the same amount. You could use fresh garlic, or if you don't like garlic, leave it out, but it just goes so well with this mixture. Now what I'm gonna do is pop that in the microwave just until it's melted, and then we can pull it out, and that'll be perfect for brushing over these potatoes. There you go, gave mine a minute, all done. So let's take that back to the table. Now, next of all, I've got my oven on, by the way, in the background. I'm gonna brush these potatoes with that beautiful mixture we made up. Just come out the microwave. So get plenty of that buttery mixture on. Now I'll do that with all of them and then we can pop them straight in the oven. That's it, ready to go in the oven. Now, before I put them in there, just gonna give me a bit of black pepper. Lovely. Now the oven's just come up to temperature, so I'm gonna pop those straight in. Right like that, lovely. It's a preheated oven. Now I've got my temperature at 220 degrees Celsius, which is 425 degrees Fahrenheit, gas mark seven. As an estimate, you're gonna cook for about an hour in total. And what I would say is, now and again, just put some of that buttery, herby, garlicky mixture over the top, and later on, about three quarters of the way through, we're gonna add the bacon and the cheese and the parmesan and the breadcrumbs and just really bring this dish together. So leave it cooking. Don't forget to put that mixture on and I'll see you shortly. Now we've been cooking for half an hour and look at these potatoes. They look absolutely 
absolutely amazing. Now, I'm gonna quickly, again, get that buttery mixture with the herbs and the garlic granules, and I'm just gonna brush them real fast. Don't want any complaints. It's just quicker to do this sometimes than actually uh, taking them out and doing it. Make sure you get plenty of that mixture over there, but look at these potatoes, they look absolutely wonderful. Now let's pop those back in the oven, quick as I can. Probably cook those for another 15 minutes, and then what we're gonna do is put the bacon and the cheese on there and really bring this together. Now I've been cooking the potatoes, now what I'm gonna do is make up a little bit of a mixture, the breadcrumb mixture, which is gonna go over the top. So gonna to put some breadcrumbs, you can do them homemade, shop bought, whatever you like. Got some Parmesan cheese. And I'm gonna add a little bit of papri paprika. Like that. And again, just add a little bit of salt to that mixture. Give it a little bit of a stir. Bit of a mix in. That's all done. So, you know, towards the end, when we add the bacon and the cheese, we can add that over the top and it'll be beautiful. Now I've been cooking for about 40 minutes, four zero, and look at these, they look wonderful. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull them out this time, because we need to dress them up. Now again, gonna put a bit more of that mixture on, the buttery mixture. Look at the way these are opening up. That is a good thing about using chopsticks, because they're a little bit thinner, and it means the potatoes open up slightly more, but these look absolutely delish. So I'll just carry on putting this mixture on, try and get it nicely inside. Oh, sizzling, beautiful. And the aromas in this kitchen, oh, they're so good. So good. These would be wonderful for Christmas. So I'm just gonna use the last bit of that mixture. Ah, that's it, done that. Lovely. Now, next of all, I'm gonna go and grab me Busson cheese. So, let's get the cheesy mixture. Now, I've got that here, you can see. And just gonna put that over the top. And what we can do is just kind of work it in a little bit to each potato. Oh. Do you know, I'm already fancying some of these potatoes. Not literally, but you know, they look good. Now, I'm gonna get the bacon next. I've chopped my bacon up. So let's put some bacon on there. Just spread that around. I mean, it is Christmas. So let's just get that bacon on there. You could use pancetta. Now, I've got this mixture here. This is uh, just breadcrumbs a bit of paprika, parmesan cheese, and I'm just gonna spread those over the top. These are looking amazing. So again, just pour them over. Look at that. Wonderful. Now I'm gonna put them back in the oven, get them cooking, and I'd say you wanna probably give it enough time for the bacon to crispen up. So maybe 15, 20 minutes. Let's put them back in the oven, get them cooking. Now these Hasselback potatoes with the bacon and cheese, I've just about cooked them for slightly over an hour. And you wanna make sure the bacon's cooked. Look at those, they look amazing. Could you serve those up at Christmas? Of course you could. Have a look at those, absolutely delish. Now, let's put them on the table. And just gonna grab one of those. Oh, look at that. In fact, I think I'll have two of those. They look so good. Oh, lovely. I mean, those juices at the bottom, buttery, you know, you can pour that over as you wish, but they look absolutely wonderful. Now, let's just move those aside. Now, I'm just gonna tuck into those, but before I do, just put a little bit of parsley. If you've got chives, they would go really well with this. I mean, I looked around for chives today, I couldn't actually find any, but look at that, gives a bit of color. 
serve it with a steak, serve it with your turkey, roast pork, delish. Now let's just try a little bit of this. See how these are, look at that. They break apart beautifully. So let's go and have a little bit of this. See how it is. Oh, looks good. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Do you know with that cheese, the bacon, the garlic, these flavours work so well together. Absolutely delicious. Oh, happy Christmas. Thanks for watching my videos. Go and check out the other ones because I've got a lot of videos and you know, there's something for everyone. See you again soon. The original Naked Chef.